before you turn around and say, what's the big deal about September 15th? Well, this is again where the technical damage started because again, this is where they got rejected today. So at least we have a point of reference going forward. Again, very, very important as long as we stay now above this rise. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, happy hump day everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody is uh, having a good day. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Uh, very, very uh, aggressive action this morning. Um, and this is kind of why... The market is the greatest reality show that's not scripted, uh, that is not on television, and it's completely unpredictable. And this is why uh, the morning session, I've always tried to uh, instill the idea that, again, your biggest value is always going to be in the morning. Uh, you're getting the biggest exaggerated moves, the biggest measured potential, uh, the most chasers, the most uneducated traders, the least funded traders are willing to uh, literally chase anything in sight. And once you get into the afternoon, you start getting into a more headline uh, driven environment. Uh, you're, you're headed for a lot more contraction of channels and the, the unpredictability unpre level uh, starts to rise. And that's exactly what we saw today. It was definitely uh, a tale of two uh, days today, a, a morning session and the afternoon session. Um, and kind of let's go back to it. So we talked about this big level here uh, that the market needed to confirm, reclaim, and push forward. And the morning did that. And it was very, very aggressive. Uh, we started seeing a lot of names confirm macro levels, which was very, very good. Uh, today was probably the first day that we saw, probably in the last three weeks or so, ever since we started losing major levels and started uh, getting a lot of macro damage, that many names expanded very, very aggressively. And you saw uh, Apple, and you saw NVIDIA, and you saw uh, Amazon today, and you saw uh, names like Zoom really uh, start taking back control of downside bias, kind of really confirming them back to the upside. So it was a really aggressive day. And then you started seeing things start to kind of stall out in the afternoon, which is not abnormal. It's like actually very, very normal. Because again, if you're watching this broadcast uh, for the very first time, again, you're going to get the big macro moves uh, in the morning. But in the afternoon, again, like I said a few minutes ago, channels will contract because most traders are going to be very, very tired, more, more individual intraday traders. And what's happening is more traders are positioning for the next day. So for example, if you like a stock that is going long and you feel like it's technically ready to go, especially if you are uh, an overnight or even a swing trader, whatever you want to call yourself, you're going to start positioning more in the afternoon. So that's where a lot of names start kind of trading in a tighter channel. Um, so you're trying to get as much accomplished in the morning. And what we saw this afternoon was uh, headlines start going one after another after another. Number one, uh, second, third day in a row, you started seeing more macro heavy headlines coming out of Europe. Uh, Spain, again, uh, had a really big uh, spike in COVID. They're starting to talk about uh, measures maybe to you know start to maybe have people stay at home more. Uh, you saw headlines coming in that Moderna, right, mRNA, uh, that again, maybe their drug or vaccine was not going to be uh, ready ahead of the election. Obviously, that gave you know kind of kind of a red signal. And more important, that you know just from the home front, there there wasn't a deal or at least any measures reached on another stimulus package. So when you had all these things kind of start formulating in the afternoon, well, here's your, you know, here's your day, right? You had your, you had your really big aggressive spike in the morning, uh, you know, big four or five candles in the after, in the morning prior, uh, prior to the open. Um, then you had your big three candles all back in the afternoon. But here's the good news. If you look at the overall day and you look at the big picture of the market, the bulls did what they had to do today. Again, another necessary level that they needed to reclaim, right? They confirmed these two channels. This is the second day in a row they closed above supply. 
And at the same time, they pierced all the levels going up to September 15th. Now, again, before you turn around and say, what's the big deal about September 15th? Well, this is, again, where the technical damage started because, again, this is where they got rejected today. So at least we have a point of reference going forward. Again, very, very important. As long as we stay now above this rising five, day, five and 10 day support, we're fine. No matter how much the market pulls back intraday, no matter what happens pre-market or post-market, we all know, again, the five day moving average is here. We're still above it. And now we're starting to build a new base above this 20 day supply as well. So again, these things are good. Again, can the market come in tomorrow, 5,000 points? Everything is on the table. Again, the market is a very fluid situation. We talk about this on a nightly uh, basis uh, so nothing will ever shock me that's why again we say this all the time have your opinion on your nightly research try to execute it as aggressively and as confident as possible but once you start getting the afternoon session try to limit your exposure again if you are a swing trader again start looking at hedges if you are long tech and you're long facebook you're long amazon you look apple again you know there's we are one headline away from getting a pull maybe start looking at hedges right start shorting the cues start shorting the spies once we get into the afternoon level so if there is some sort of rug pull some sort of headline driven event that's happening again at least you are protected at least you have some sort of a uh, hedge on that at worst case scenario again maybe you'll make a little bit more going into the afternoon excuse me maybe you'll make a little bit less going into the afternoon but your profit will be protected because you do have downside protection just something to think about especially if you do have some sort of exposure uh, and you want to keep that exposure overnight the key for tomorrow's session is number one don't get don't go below this 275 that's number one okay stay above the 275 start building more of a base uh, above this 277 level which is incredibly big because remember that was at the high here that was the high here and this is the first this is the highest close since this whole september 15th move so again on the surface it looks good are you going to have some volatility uh with the election with covid news uh with stimulus news on off you know again did everybody forget that we're still in the whole china trade war thing right right again nobody even even remembers that's still on the table so there's a lot of stuff going on guys and our job right now is again to determine which way the wind is blowing uh structure a game plan that's going to be uh complemented based on our individual process and again try to hedge yourself especially in the afternoon if you have a book, if you're having uh, overnight exposure or any type of longer term uh, potential for, you know, for risk. Um, so really aggressive day today. Um, you know, today was one of those days that expanded channels happened because we broke macro uh, resistance. And that was very, very important. And if you look at uh, if you look at the feed today, incredible violence. I mean, that's the best way of saying it. these stocks were going incredibly crazy uh from netflix to crm you guys remember crm we've been talking about this thing like literally every video for the last week and it finally uh, did what it had to do and then and oh by the way uh we got a headline from the ceo of crm maybe five minutes six minutes after we put on the position hey by the way i'm gonna have a surprise announcement tonight oh and by the way we're gonna be on mad money cool right we'll show you what it did in a second so really aggressive channels here uh like i said this morning important session today which it was because again we needed to stay above that 277 level uh bulls can't afford to give up rising support which we exactly did not do today which is very very good it might be a tighter session and again we got the opposite of a, a tighter session today very very aggressive so let's talk about this so uh netflix 497 needs to build again uh that was the high from the last supply zone which was yesterday and if you look at netflix right we talked about it right here here's the 496 and change it broke that 497 level it stopped a little bit tad uh, a little bit tad light of the next supply zone which was 508 uh traded to about 504 so again big big move on netflix again this is it's going to need to clear out this 509 whole area here for the next leg up and again if the market stays above the rise in support netflix should be fine again we continue to see uh 510 calls uh, being traded. Uh, CRM was awesome. Um, I had my doubts. I'm not going to lie. I had my doubts uh, just the way it was trading. But once it started building and that news came out, it absolutely exploded. 249 needs to build. So it got long 
and CRM put in a really, really aggressive candle. So here is the candle right here. You see this whole area right here? We talked about this whole 249 area, right? 249, 249, finally broke 249, just exploded all the way up to 255 area. Uh, so definitely a big move there. Uh, net, uh, Facebook, 263.50 needs to build. Here was Facebook. So you, you, know, you pretty much have an idea, right? You definitely have an idea of how aggressive these stocks were. So here's this 263.50 level and traded right to the next supply zone of 266. So now that becomes the new area that buyers need to reclaim for a possible move back to the 276. So again, what was great today, we had the aggression, uh, we had the test of the rising support well, kudos to the Bulls. And now at least we have points of reference and a lot of names uh, going forward. So Facebook was good as well. Uh, too low never got to the 252 level. Uh, Tesla was good. Tesla was actually my first trade of the day. Uh, 424, uh, big area, 60 minute needs to, needs to build. Rejected three times, needs to reclaim. 429, also a big area. So here is Tesla. And again, I'm going to show you here because I don't want to Right, so here is the 424 right here, right? Actually, excuse me, right here is 424. You see that got rejected uh, 424 pre market several times. 424, it's 424, 424. Uh, it got above 424, it got above the 429, and it went all the way up to uh, 434. So, really good move on Tesla as well, right? Good move on Tesla as well. Uh, shop never got to uh, 1051. Uh, it actually was red on the day. Um, so the pre-market high was 1051 and never got there. Uh, Amazon was big. Uh, it actually put up a 60 point move and then the rug got pulled like everything else. Uh, 3160, sneaky area needs to build. 3190 is another big area of spot. So here was Amazon, right? So here was the 3160. Hold on, what the hell is this line? Uh, here's the 3160 right here, right? This whole area here, 3160. 3190 was macro and went all the way up to 3212. Again, prime day is coming up. Again, we want to see a little more strength there. Uh, NVIDIA continues to be a monster. 531 needs to build. I mean, this stock is just an absolute beast. And you can see how aggressive these, these stocks are right now. When these things go... They go, they go in gang mode. So, so here's the whole 531 area right here. It took it out and just traded all the way up to the 544. Uh, so again, a lot of big moves, really, really big moves in uh, beta. Uh, Snow, uh, this one, I, I, you know, I, I wasn't even playing around. It was just way too thin for me. For all you guys who did catch a great job, 260, 261 needs to build. Again, like I said, trades too thin. Uh, experienced traders only uh, scale down. Snow actually went bonkers. So here was the 260. Right here is the whole 260 area, which was the high from these two channels. And the stock, man, did the stock really go to 278? Great job. If you did catch this trade, great job. I just, again, the stocks are just way too thin for me. Uh, beyond, uh, 166 needs to build for cash flow. Here was beyond. You get, the, you get the picture. There's a lot of big moves here early on. So this whole, uh, here's the 260, uh, 250, excuse me, 156, 156, and just ex absolutely exploded all the way to the next supply zone at 173. And they just went on and on and on. Uh, Zoom 267 needs to build more COVID news. Here was Zoom, right? Here was the Zoom uh, pivot right here. You see this whole area here, this whole 267, right? 266 and change, 266 and change, 466 and change, and just exploded into the 477 level. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else was going on today? And that's it. I mean, that's it. I mean, there's a lot of big moves, uh, a lot of big moves. Um, and, and, and again, the most important part was, again, it, these stocks are very, very specific. Uh, beta, there's only about 10, 15 really traditional beta names. So it's not really something that you sit there and you search for. If you chart these stocks every single night, uh, you really should be prepared for them. Because again, it's the same, you know, we trade literally the same 10, 15 names uh, all the time. So uh, again, I like what the market did today. Uh, I like how the market did handle the sell-off. You know, some stocks did give back a lot of juice today. But again, at least we do have uh, reference points now for the next potential move up. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. Got another soccer game. Again, playing soccer mom. Uh, and with God's help, again, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.